What about your goodnight kiss? My lips are chapped from kissing my knees. He'd have to get a bigger car or a smaller boyfriend. He's pouting. Who's pouting? Who else is in the car? Who could fit? Is it because I want to eat out and you didn't? Guess again. Is it because I wanted to go to a movie and you didn't? Is it because I wanted to have a pajama party and you didn't? I don't believe in pajama parties on the third date. Besides, my Dr. Denton's are in the cleaners. But they'll be out tomorrow. Dare I assume that that is a lewd and mischievous offer? You figure it out. Tomorrow night at 8, you bring the wine. cold scares the oatmeal out of me and his lawyer is gonna have me for breakfast you believe that A refreshing Eric isn't it I'll be on time for church believe me if I were you I'd get a jump on it and stop praying right now You mean I'm gonna die? How long? Six months, at most. out yesterday. I know it's not much of a consolation, but I called a special session of the parole board this morning. You've been granted parole. Effective just as soon as the necessary papers are completed. You'll be out in a matter of days. I'm sorry. Don't you have in mind arm wrestling? Mm-hmm. Oh. you to the phone. What phone? Oh, some public servant you are.
Hello. Yes, he is. Just a second. It's a very sexy-sounding lady. Well, hello, dear. Hello. Sergeant Del Vecchio? Yeah? You may not remember me. Jog my memory. Angela Atkins. You put me away. Second-degree murder. Oh, yeah. It was your husband, wasn't it? Oh. You remembered. Well, what do you want? You. You'll have to get in line. I'm gonna kill you. Could be a week, maybe a month. But you're dead. I want you to think about it. Well, it was nice talking to you again, uh, right when you get work. Bye. Oh, what was that all about? Occupational hazard. Oh, come on, Dorfman, again. Yes, Sergeant, again and again until we are letter perfect. Look, this is not the Scopes monkey trial. We've got this turkey cold. Sergeant, the murder was committed nearly six months ago. I am merely trying to prevent your memory from fuzzing up on you. The fact is, Eddie Rehack has some very high-priced legal aid behind him. And all I have, Sergeant, is you. No offense, Dorfman, my man, but if the DA was nervous about this one, he wouldn't have dropped it in your lap. The district attorney considers this a most important case. Is that a fact? Your victim, one Daniel Speedball McQueen, was a middle-level drug supplier skimming profits off the top. Your alleged perpetrator, one Edward Rehack, is a professional killer. If we nail him, there is a very good chance he will deal. In short, a conviction here goes a long way toward breaking the back of organized crime in this city. I saw Rehack gun McQueen down. I saw him get rid of the weapon. I made a perfectly legal arrest. What more do you want? It was dark. It was very dimly lit. There were no identifiable prints in the murder weapon. And Ray Hack is claiming that a third party, the actual assailant, fired the shots. Are you not aware of this, Sergeant? Are you not aware, Counselor, that I have two eyes on either side of my face, separated by a nose, by a very formidable nose, and that neither of those two eyes nor the nose saw any third party at the murder scene? You're getting rattled, Sergeant. You noticed? We've been prepping this case for five months. We go to court in two weeks. You are my whole case. Oh, he's not so bad if he likes suede uh, shoes with buckles, flared pants, tapered shirts, wired rim spectacles, styled hair. Personally, I prefer the quiet rumple type. With thick rubber soles on their shoes. Plain brown suits. Narrow ties. White socks that bag at the ankle. Mm-hmm. Here's to my idol, Assistant D.A. Dorfman. And here's to men who come in plain brown wrappers. Excuse me, Sergeant. Don't take you. Have a phone call. Uh, Thank you. Oh, please, Sergeant. Don't hang up on me again. You took six years of my life. You owe me two minutes. What do you want? I told you. I'm gonna kill you. Where are you calling me from? Look around. I'm out of prison. On parole. Well, congratulations. I'm sure your parole officer will be very glad to hear you're rekindling old friendships. You can't threaten me anymore. Look, I don't know what's wrong with you, lady, but maybe you ought to be talking to a doctor. I've talked to doctors. Lots of them. You know what they told me? I'm sure you're about to tell me. I'm dying. I got six months to live. Well, if that's true, I'm sorry. Are you afraid to die? I'm not. In fact, dying can be a pleasure. If you can take someone with you. I can't think of anyone I'd rather take with me. Than you.
What's he? You're the only canary I ever had with a tin ear. You all right, miss? Could I uh, rest here for a minute? Sure, sure. Sit in the chair. Thank you. Can I give you a glass of water? No, thanks. Maybe something stronger. Chianti? No, I, I, I don't know what came over me. You look pale. W would you like me to call a doctor? No, no, thank you. I'll be fine, really. I, I was feeling all right, and then everything started to reel. Sit as long as you like. Oh, I wish I could, but I, I'm going to get a ticket. I have to put some money in the meter. Let me take care of it. Oh, would you mind terribly? What kind of car you got? Um, it's the gray car at the corner. Uh, thank you, Mr. Convecchio. Uh, uh, Tommaso Del Vecchio, hairstylist for the elite. Be back in a minute. I'm sorry for your trouble. I wish I could do something about it, but I can't. You think you got a beef with me? Fine. But when you start with my father... I don't know what you're talking about. Don't you turn your back on me. Now, I can live with the phone calls, but when you start with my father like that, if you ever go near him again, I swear I'm gonna come for you. Do you hear me? I've had enough. I'll hang you out to dry. like the guy in this picture, it'd sure get to me, I'll tell you that. Assault. Harassment. I never laid a glove on her. You want to talk about harassment? What about what she's been doing to me? I know what she's been doing. I understand why you did what you did. If it was me, I'd probably do the same thing. But. But. But, like it or not, we got a woman with terminal whatever. How do you fight that? You're damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't. What am I supposed to do? Wait around till she takes a pot shot at me? You got some vacation time coming. Why don't you take your pop and go away for a while? There's a Mexican cruise. I took the ball and chain on that. I in other words, it. run. Nobody's questioning your machismo, Bunky. Look, in the first place, I got the rehab trial, right? I gotta stick around for that. In the second place, I get seasick. In third, making a determined, stretched run, I got a lady with nothing to lose. So what am I supposed to do? Stay away for six months until she keels over? Come on, get serious. And forget it. My gut feeling is all she's interested in is pulling your wings. And as far as this suit is concerned, let's face it, the sad fact is she probably won't live long enough to get it into court. So, Counselor, what does this do to our case? Anything? Doesn't hurt, doesn't help. What do you mean? That cop's got an unstable personality. He gets on the stand, you could peel him like a banana. He's their whole case. Severelli, the thing is, 
This is important, George. I don't think I have to tell you that. If they convict Eddie Rehack on the basis of Del Vecchio's testimony, he'll deal with them. He'll name names, and the next time we meet, it'll be in a little bare room with a wire mesh motif. It's apples and pears. Del Vecchio goes into a bar in front of a lot of people. He yells at this broad, tells her to get off his back, threatens her maybe. So what? What does it have to do with our case? Well, you make this guy out to be a crazy, you kill his credibility. Do me a favor. Don't tell me how to do my job. As far as his credibility is concerned, I'll work on it. But the best I can do off of this is dent it a little. Of course, now, if you really had popped her one, that'd be a different story. That would have made our case. Is Moss Burger back from San Diego? I think so. Yeah. Moss Burger. Uh, 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 Sergeant DeVecchio, uh, uh, please. Okay, hold on. Dale? Dale? This is a telephone. DeVecchio. Uh, this is, uh, 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 Bill, Billy Fifth Street. Billy, what are you doing? I, uh, uh, uh got some, something. The usual? No, this is, uh, uh, big. Oh, yeah? How big? It's gonna cost you uh, a, 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 a couple of hundred. Well, Billy, for a couple of hundred, you gotta tantalize me a little bit. Del. One teensy hint. A shipment of uh, heroin. It's uh, you know, uh, it's uh, it's worth um, millions, you know. All right, what do we mean? Uh, ap apartment building. It's uh, five uh, two three Westmoreland. Hey, fella. Yes, sir. Uh, you see that blue car pulling in across the street over there? Yeah. The uh, one with the fella just getting out of it. Yeah, what about? Well, the thing is, my son's been bugging me for a car. I don't want to get him a new one, but the way he drives, I think I'd better get him a big one. <laughs> How much would you say a car like that costs? Depends. Uh, 35, 3,800. Late model used one, maybe a grand less. You were sure? Cars are my business. Because now that one's stripped. The only options on that are a four barrel 442 V8. Why do you say that? Well, it's a cop car. You all got the big engines. It's a cop car? No chrome, no white walls, doesn't have a radio antenna. Who else would go around in a thing like that? Billy? feel better after I fix you some dinner. Mm-hmm. You open the wine, and I'll freshen up. place, believe me. What's the rent? Yeah, I'm telling you, it's a steal. Look at this. Everything new. New drapes, new rugs, thermostat control. 
and come and see how light and airy the bedroom is. You'll, I'm telling you, you'll sleep like a baby. And look at this. Even in here, they have built-ins. Built-in dresser, built-in drawers, built-in closets. I'm telling you, every convenience. Nowadays, everything's all built in. <laughs> Six ways to Sunday. He was shut up and hung out like a piece of beef jerky. I know it, you know it. I spoke to the IAD, even they know it. But what can we do? The guy in the gas station made a positive ID. His prints were all over the place. Until I get to the bottom of this, I don't have a lot of choices. So, now I pull desk duty, right? I'm sorry, Dom. Gun. Tend to. What are you talking about? You got a case a third year law student could win. It's a lock. No, 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 no. We had a lock. Suddenly it's a blivet. I walk into court with you, they turn me into hamburger. I was framed and you know it. All I know is you're under suspension. Suspect in Mero Uno in a murder case. My case is no longer righteous. You really blew it, Sergeant. So thank you, uh, goodbye, and best of luck to you in your future endeavors. If Eddie Rehack is convicted, he'll sing Be My Love to the DA, who will in turn make a lot of very heavy arrests. Now, don't you think the big shots know that? So they read in the paper that some crazy is suing me, and they terminate her life, and they hang it on me. Now, if you just had a little patience and a little faith, I could prove what I'm saying. I have it on good authority, Sergeant, that you have aspirations to a career in the law. That's right. Okay. Then you're not totally unfamiliar with courtroom procedure, right? Right. And the fact that I'm indicted for a crime does not destroy my credibility as a witness because it's inadmissible as evidence. Uh, don't give me the night school slop. Take the witness chair, Sergeant. Please. Go ahead. Sit. Now, pay attention, Counselor. I'm going to teach you a little something about cross-examination. Let's pretend that I am Eddie Rehack's lawyer, okay? Would you identify yourself to the court, please? Detective Sergeant Dominic Dovecchio, badge number 495. And are you a police officer in this county? Yes, I am, Washington Heights. Tell me, Sergeant, is it not customary for a police officer to wear his shield when testifying in a criminal proceeding? Yes, sir. Well, I notice you don't have yours on today. Shall we take a moment while you correct the oversight? I don't have it. You don't have it? Did you forget it? No. Perhaps you'd like to explain to the court why you're unable to display your shield. Well? I refuse to answer on the grounds that anything I say may tend to incriminate me. Great. The Fifth Amendment. My star witness can answer why he's unable to display his shield on the grounds that anything he says may tend to incriminate him. You tell me something, Sergeant. What do you think that does to your credibility as the sole witness and arresting officer in this case? Play fifth straight. I don't keep track of that creep. How shall I know where he is? He used to go with him. So? That was then. This is now. Bubbles, my love. I can make your life miserable. Listen, Chubbs. You already are. Look, you want the heat on you every time you come out in the street with a pocket full of policy slips? You think I don't know what you're doing with yourself these days? Mabel something or another. What's a Mabel something or another? Mabel, something or another, is a mere pit stop. She changes your tires, checks your oil, and wheels you back out onto the track. You got a dress? Who keeps tabs? I do. Four thirty-one Collins Street, apartment seven. You're a bitch. And you're a prune.
know I could get cream for this. You're the one that got grounded, Bunky. I didn't hear him say anything about me. Yeah? Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Shonsky here, Department of Health. Uh, we hear you have some rats in this building, and uh, I wonder if I might come in and check out your infestations. Sure. Why not? Start with the kitchen. At night, it sounds like I got the roller derby in there. Ah, uh, definite sign of infestation in here, Dale. I bet a week's salary that there's one rat on the premises. And, uh, uh, Mabel? You haven't... Hiya, Billy. What's new? Hey, uh, 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 fellas. I can't, uh, uh, complain. You know these guys? Sure, they're my, uh, 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 buddies. They said they were from the health department. Which, in a manner of speaking, is correct. You see, you give me some answers, you get to keep your health. Such as it is. Uh, uh, uh what are you, t uh, uh, t uh, talking about? You set me up, Billy. I want to know who and I want to know why. Set you up, Del? Are you uh, 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 kidding? You think I'm uh, uh... crazy? Yeah. You called me. You sent me to an empty apartment. I went. You didn't. And then guess what happened, Billy? Hon honest, Del. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, I swear it. On my, uh, uh, my uh, uh, mother's grave. I, 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 I uh, uh, never called you. <laughs> never? You, look, uh, 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 people try to, uh, uh, uh... Imitate. Yeah. Yeah, all the, all the t time. Now, why would I, uh, 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 do, uh, do some, something like that? I don't know. I was hoping you'd tell me. Honest, Del. Uh, uh, look, I was, I was, uh, uh, uh here all, 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 all day yesterday. I, I, I swear it. On your mother's grave. Um, uh, Mabel, t t tell him. He was here all day yesterday. And if you guys don't get out of here, I'm gonna call the cops. They are the c c c c c c cops, stupid. Hey, hey, c come on, you, uh, you, you know me. I mean, I've, uh, I've, 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 uh, Always been uh, st uh, straight with you, huh? Yeah. Come on, John. Billy, I hope you're telling me the truth. Because if you're not... Personal, but I saw what I saw. Tell us again. I see your car pull up over there across the street in front of the building. I see you come out, go in, come out a few minutes later and drive away. And that's it. And you didn't see anybody else? No. Come on, this is a busy neighborhood. There's people going in and out of that place all day long. What do you think I do? Stand around all day looking at apartment buildings? <laughs> Yet you had no trouble spotting me right down to the dents in my car. Well, it was different. What do you mean different? How different? This guy asked me something about your car. That's how different. What guy? A guy in a, in a blue luxury sedan. I was filling him up, and um, he asked me something about a used car for his kid. And then he happened to notice yours and uh, asked me what it sells for. A guy in a blue luxury sedan. What a coincidence. You didn't have him to get his name or his license number, did you? No. Didn't think so. Credit card. Guy give you a credit card of any kind? No, paid cash. 
Hey, you, you don't think he set me up for something, do you? Setting you up? No, I don't think he was setting you up. Hi, Goldie. Nice car. You girls get in the car. called me. Well, what's happening? You tell me. Look, I mean, I know what's going down. Word is out all over the street on your man Del Vecchio. Some very heavy action. Yeah, things are to get a lot heavier until we find out who's trying to burn him. Things to get very hairy around here. Which is not good for business. So I, I thought I'd be putting a freebie on you about Billy's history. Talk to me. Well, the word is that uh, some guy named Mossberger did the job on the lady. Mossberger. It must be a new one. Uh, how do they get Billy to cooperate? Billy got in over his head in a couple of poker games. How much? <laughs> what I hear about three and a half yards. <laughs> He's still alive. Yeah? <laughs> Where to get the money? Goober. Don't worry about it, Goldie. I really appreciate it. Well, your man has done a few for me, you know. You got my marker. Okay. All right, all right, let's go, let's nice go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Put it where it is. Freeze, please! Excuse me, gentlemen, but we are police officers. And as such, I'm going to have to ask you to put those weapons on the table. In the center of the table. Nope! My, my, my. Look at all this money. Did anybody ever tell you that gambling for money in this state is illegal? You gotta be kidding. Where's your warrant? You got one? Thought you had it. Ever hear of illegal search? Sure. But in the meantime, I can book you guys for 48 hours on illegal possession of firearms. Then I take all your money and put it in my locker. And it may take months to get it out. That would be bad for the economy. Look at fellas. Uh, maybe we can work something out, huh? What do you think, Sergeant Rivera? I don't know, Shans. Goober. What are you doing here? I don't know, Shansky. Uh, they uh, told me it was going to be a political rally. Who knew? I tell you what. You and me will take a walk to the bathroom for about two minutes. Then I'll pretend that I was never here. Uncool, dummy. What do you want? Billy Fist Street's in you for three and a half big ones, right? Wrong. Was. He paid you back? No. I, I, I sold the markers. To who? To who? Benny Schwartz. Bingo. Benny Schwartz. Along with Zeffirelli and Musto, reputed to be the biggest drug wholesalers on the West Coast. And guess who their attorney is? George Hancock who just happens to be representing Eddie Rehack. Coincidences do abound. Yeah, now all we gotta do is prove it. I think Billy Fifth Street will help us out there. You're kidding. He's gotta be more scared of them than he is of you. This will change. are you uh, uh, to, uh, uh, to, uh, doing here, huh? <laughs> Where's the knife in me, Billy? Hey, come on, come on. I was, uh, uh, I, I, I told you before, you know, already that I was. You lied, Billy. I know you were into Goober. 
I know about the markers. I know who bought them. And we even figured out that on your income, there ain't no way you can pay them back. And since you're still alive, that must mean you uh, worked it off in trade? Uh, 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 fellas, uh, pl please. Uh, uh, Sean, don't, don't uh, uh, take your uh, 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 glasses off, huh? Don't, don't do that. Uh, uh, Bill. Sean, what are you doing, huh? No, 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 you, uh, you, you keep that, uh, uh stuff away, huh? Uh, <laughs> no, no, no! Stuff away from me, huh? You're a stuffed murder! Uh... Just clean it up, Billy. Now you listen to me, and you listen to me good, Billy. I know what you did, and I know who you're into. And when I prove it, you're finished. I'm gonna cleave you like a melon. I mean, what the heck? I'm on the hook for one murder. What's another one gonna hurt, right? Hey, you got this all wrong. I swear. No, no, get out of town, Billy. Stay forever. I try to reason with him, and he just won't listen. I'm gonna kill him. 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 I'm gonna yeah, I like the glasses. Uh oh. He forgot his laundry. He's gonna need it. Look, those uh, 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 guys are all uh, over me. I, 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 I did what you wanted, but I gotta, uh, I gotta get out. He's right. Yeah. Hawaii is a nice place this time of year. Any uh, 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 place. You gonna need a ride to the airport? Well, I, I, uh, I, gotta, I gotta go home and uh, 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 pack first. You'll need some cash. Here's two thousand. Thanks. I, uh, I, uh, uh, I, I uh, uh, appreciate this. We don't take care of our people, Billy. Who will? Get Mossberger on the phone. Positively trim. Some friends. Uh, 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 what do you uh, well, want? You. What do you 
What are you, uh, what are you, uh, uh, doing, huh? You've been causing trouble, Billy. You've been talking when you shouldn't. No. Huh? You've got to tell us, uh, Zuffarelli and, uh, and the others that I ain't true. Because I ain't said uh, n uh, t uh, nothing to nobody, huh? All right. Uh, here, come on. Come on, my mom. My, my uh, m money? Uh, go on. Uh, just take it, huh? Please, don't, uh, just don't, uh, 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 kill me, huh? Nothing personal, Billy. Uh, what time do you have? 4.03. Come on. Talk loud and clear, names, dates, everything, or I'm gonna walk right out of here and leave you here. Now, you're lucky this time, but they're gonna have a contract out on you in two hours, and when they do, I'm not gonna lift a finger to stop it. Now, what'll it be? Um, it's yours. Um, uh, uh, your, uh, yours. Rivera! Mitchell! You hot dogs. Well, what do you got to say for yourselves? We've been bad boys, Lieutenant. Well, smart mouth me, Del Vecchio. Either I am running this department, or I am not! Well, you're all pretty lucky this worked out. You broke every rule in the books, right? Yes, sir. And you, Rivera. You should know better. Yes, sir. And if you think this is the end of it, you're crazy. There's going to be a departmental hearing. I will not have my cops running around disobeying my orders. That makes me look like a turkey. Lieutenant, you are not a turkey. And you are not a lawyer, because if you were, you'd know that that little stunt you and Mitchell pulled was entrapment. No, not strictly speaking, Lieutenant. Uh, and the fact is, Billy did talk. And the rehack trial has been rescheduled, and my uh, credibility has been reestablished, and... Enough. I don't want another word out of your face. Now get out of here, all of you. Del Vecchio. Lieutenant. Pick up your hardware. Nice to have friends, isn't it? Hearing is just a formality. Welcome home. Hey, 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 The 1930s investigator pens his toughest crimes for the silver screen. Tony Peck is the Hollywood detective. And later today, Kimball steps into a murder trap on The Fugitive.